Hello, my name is Stephen Upton and welcome to SDU Publications. If you're a subscriber to my YouTube channel, it's probably because you're interested in the First World War. In this short film, I'm actually going to talk a bit, a little bit about the Second World War, and in particular, my father. My father served in the British Army during the Second World War, and he was a gunner signaller in the Royal Artillery. And he served in the 94th Dorset and Hans Field Regiment Royal Artillery. And they were a 25 pounder battery, and they were the divisional artillery for the 43rd Wessex Division. The 43rd Division landed in Normandy, not on D-Day itself, but a week or so afterwards. And they first went into action on the 26th of June, 1944. Incidentally, my, my father's 21st birthday. What a birthday present. They were given the task of capturing and holding Hill 112. This was a very important feature in Normandy. And in fact, I believe it was Rommel that said, whoever holds 112 holds Normandy. So clearly very important. If you go there today, at the bottom of the hill, there's a memorial to the Wessex Division and also there's a Churchill tank. However, my father being a gunner signaller uh, was not there making decisions. He was at the bottom end of the military food chain and he was either at one end of the telephone line or occasionally serving the guns. But as a signaller, he would either be in the command post receiving messages from the front line or in the front line with the forward observation officer relaying messages. And in 1994, I took him back for the 50th anniversary, his first visit since the war, and we found the exact field where they were based. And he relayed to me a couple of very interesting stories. Uh, one of them we found where the command post was in the field, and he was in the command post on the telephone line one day, and somebody there told him, sent him off to go and get something. I, I don't remember what now, but he had to leave the dog out, go to another trench and bring something back. He was only gone a couple of minutes and on his return, the command post was not there. It was a shell hole. It had taken a direct hit from a German artillery shell, sadly killing everybody inside. It's one of those quirks of history. Somebody says to my father, go and get something. And it saves his life, and of course, I wouldn't be here now. Uh, we actually visited the cemetery, the nearby cemetery, and we found the graves of his friends who were killed in that dugout. He also told me about the worst night of his life. He was in the front line trenches uh, with the forward observation officer, sending information back to the battery. And on this particular night, the Germans were trying very hard to break through the British front line. They threw at it everything they had, and then some more. SS Panzer Divisions, uh, Grenadier, Gren Panzer Grenadiers, everything. And apparently there was a, a real danger of them breaking through, uh, the British infantry being overwhelmed. Uh, so the forward observation officer made the decision that he needed to call down a very extraordinary barrage. That is, we're in danger of being overrun, fire everything basically and there's a special code word for it that my father relayed down the telephone line that means every gun within range has to shoot on those coordinates that's from little two inch mortars just behind the lines through to his own battery of 25 pounders the medium and the heavy guns even 16 inch battleships off the coast everything fired somewhere in the region of 5,000 guns firing their shells a few hundred yards in front of the British front line. I, I can't imagine the noise, the concussion, the shock that must have been. But it stopped the German counterattack. And again, I believe it was Rommel that said, there was no infantry better served by their artillery than the British in Normandy. Well, of course, the rest is history. The 43rd went on to do the crossing of the Seine at Vernon. They were with 30 Corps trying to relieve the Paras at Arnhem. And in fact, the 94th uh, Field Regiment was at Elst firing in support of the Paras. 
And what I've done is I've republished the battery's war record. So in this format, £15 plus postage and packing if you're interested. So if you'd like to know more about the British Royal Artillery and a typical battery, what their experiences were from Normandy right through to the fall of Germany, uh, then the book's available. This book is my tribute to my father and to all those who served their countries in times of conflict, regardless of nationality, regardless of branch or service, they all did their duty. Thank you for watching.